Hello everyone, my name is Peter Minkowski and I've been working on developing the continuity of care capabilities for ESOM 3 Plus. In this video, I'll be demonstrating one of these capabilities where we use the services of a master patient index to synchronize patient registration data from across multiple Isante Plus instances. I might go through this demo pretty quickly, but if you want any more details, um, feel free to check out this link that I'll share later um, to get a written version of this demonstration. Okay, so let's get started. Um, for this demo, I'll be creating a patient in one Isante Plus instance, which we have up and running uh, at this URL, isanteplusdemo.com. And then I will import that patient during registration at the second Isante Plus instance and make sure that the two um, patient identities are linked in the master patient index correctly. So first we need to create a new patient. I can go to the one of the Isante Plus instances and click the register a patient button and create an entry for let's say Stephanie Lassai. I'll just put in some made up patient information, so bear with me and then we'll get going. Okay, that should be enough for our demo patient. So as you can see, we have, um, we have the patient information here and we can confirm it to create the patient. The patient is created in this instance of Isante Plus. And we can search for our patient here. As you can see, the information that shows up in the MPI corresponds to the uh, registration information from our Isante Plus instance. If, for example, we made a mistake entering some of this information, for example, if we put in uh, the birth date of the patient as February, where when actually it is April, we can go back to uh, Isante Plus, edit the um, registration info, change this to April. Maybe we also messed up the day by one and confirm. This update gets sent to the MPI and should be um, viewable if I refresh this page. So as you can see, the birth date for the patient has been updated. Now, if this patient um, goes to a different location with a different instance of eSampte Plus and is registered there. We want to be able to bring in this information uh, and not have to recreate it in that instance. So if we go to our second eSampte Plus instance and go to register a patient and we start typing the, her name, we can see that um, a similar patient is found in the MPI with the, the given information and is available for import. If we click this import and open button, we should use that information to create a, a, a record for this patient in the Cisante Plus instance. Now, this record should have also created or pushed a new um, record to the MPI, and these two patient records um, should automatically be linked by the matching algorithms that um, the MPI uses. And as you can see, 
we now, for this one patient identity, we have now two entries, one from each Isante Plus system. So yeah, that shows that very simple um, synchronization of patient information from across different instances of Isante Plus. And in the next uh, video, I will demonstrate how we can, uh, we can synchronize and share other um, clinical information using the continuity of care document. Thank you.